somebody really good. He beat e uh, not e -Sam. He beat uh, MVD. MVD. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I mean, you know, locals, it's kind of hard to but say. But still, like, uh, Magisk is so fun. Uh, also fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, I was about to write Ivysaur, because that is who this person is. <laughs> Pandarian, st uh, sticking with Ivy starting with Ivysaur in this yep. matchup. Uh, I have specific opinions about uh, Ivysaur, <laughs> but I won't, like, try and bias it too much. Ivysaur makes sense in this matchup because you want like kind of disjoints versus uh, versus Game and Watch. Also, Ivysaur with these Pokemon Stadium two platforms. Oh yeah, and yeah I've yeah. seen Pandarian lab out a lot of these a lot of these percents. I I mean honestly, if I was single Dorf, I probably would have picked a different stage. <laughs> yeah, but that's just that's just me. Man, and what right do you now, do? Yeah, what do you do? Yeah, it's, he's trying to flare blitz through it. He took so much percent! We saw him use that against Kongo I, I did see that. And Kongo, I, I was wondering if he was like letting himself intentionally get hit. Oh, oh no! no. Stigledorf, after getting so much work done with the meat, <laughs> is meat and just dies underneath the stage. Um, something interesting that I'm sure is coming is Ooh. some Flare Blitz is gonna come because, yep. Yeah. Pandarian. He, he likes to use the Flare Blitz, and why not? Like, if you miss with it up close, you get away for free almost. As long as it doesn't hit shield, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's true, that's true. Like, if you see... Oh, the runoff down air. The great thing about these two guys is when they're playing, they're just laughing the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you can, I can hear Stickler through my headset. It's an, it's, an, it's an infectious laugh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really curious how... Uh, Pandarian deals with this bacon because it's it's a problem. I remember hearing uh, BC talk about Game and Watch in general, uh -huh. and uh, it was Yaya the uh, the Game and Watch up there, uh -huh. and there, he was like, "Yeah, uh, I don't know how people get past this. People get past it when I get bored." <laughs> but I don't know how people get past Pandarian. Yeah, no kidding. That was that was great. We saw the down throw into the up B there. Definitely. Lab monster has all that labbed out, and uh, but yeah, it seems like the the chef is a lot more effective mm. here in ultimate. Um, and I've seen Snickledorf been using it all all tournament long, especially against Kanga. But um, we saw him use it a lot against Charizard. Uh, yeah, effective against big bodies that have trouble getting off the ledge. It just covers if you do it at the right angle, it can cover multiple options. We're going to see game two. They're going to go to Smashville this time. I like this a little bit more for uh, for Snickledore. Uh Pandarian can't do that thing where he does the, the down throw into up air, then, then jump off the platform. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit higher, so the timing is going to be a little bit different. Ooh, and we're already seeing the switch to Charizard. Yep. And this back to Squirtle. Uh, I guess he just wanted the survivability. Yeah, the threat of a flare blitz <laughs> as he's falling vertically like that. Yeah. Honestly, they're like Charizard, big body, small stage. Could work out. Yeah. It could work out. Ooh, nice falling there combo from uh, from Snick. I'm having a hard time seeing Snickledorf's green. Yo, on, on purpose? <laughs> I think so. It's got to be the strategy, right? Against yeah. that background? Yeah. So, apologies if I miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have to follow his tag. Ooh, forward smash at the ledge. A yeah. lot of people get hit by it. It's it's pretty good. It covers at least three options, I think. I'd, I'd like to see the hitbox visualization on it. How long does it stay out? It, you know? I, I know it stays out for a, a while. It also has it looks like, like it does. an obnoxious hitbox around him. Ooh. Like, I've, I've been hit... Uh, ooh, nice down air. Uh, I've been hit from, like, behind... Ivysaur, uh -huh. because he's forward smashing the other way, and I was just like, why? <laughs> why? But, I mean, if you're at the ledge, I don't think it hits ledge, so I think you can just kind of sit there. Alternatively, yeah. like, drop off and jump. Yeah. I, I'm going to get your Ivysaur opinions on camera at some point. And maybe after this set. So here, here's what I will give Ivysaur, is his throw combos are crazy. Yeah. That down throw up E. Uh-huh. Because you can angle the up B, like the DI, as, as long as you can follow it, I think, 
it still works, and like the tipper hitbox is real strong. I'm never ready for that move. And also, like you kind of you're able to do it for free. Yeah. Like because you jump up a little bit, and you like what are they gonna do? They're not gonna punish you for it. No. You're throwing out this enormous hitbox. Yeah. Like no, they're not gonna punish you for it. Yeah. You don't go into free fall. Like why not? Ooh. Why not? Looked like the up B right there going to finish off Snickledorf. Uh, game, two. game two. I, I missed. I, uh, we forgot to so add fast. on. Yeah. And this is going to be a best of five in winner's finals. So we must be doing the winner's finals, loser's finals. Grand. So here, here's here's how I feel about Ivysaur is that he's extremely linear. And his neutral is based off of Razor Leaf, which is like a frame 20-something projectile. Yeah. Which, like... It is not good. Like it, the reason why it's so good is because it lasts so long and uh -huh. it's slow, and you can like, kind of follow up. It's a it. little bit bigger. So yeah, yeah. A little bit bigger of a hitbox and a lot of projectiles. Um, but like, you jump on and on it, his disadvantage is bad. But if he gets that grab, because that's like all he ever wants. Yeah. Dash grab. Yeah. It's like there, there it is. You and is and well, the other thing is, is his advantage is like. Oh, it's crazy good. Yeah. How fast? He, like I. My day one Ivysaur can get more spikes with than any all the rest of my characters combined. Yeah, like just he can throw out that short hop down air cover ledge so easy. You don't even have to go off stage. You don't. <laughs> you don't. You just sit at ledge. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely a character with a few like very obnoxious strengths, mm -hmm. but also enough uh -oh. weak, enough weaknesses where like he they're they're legit. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. almost. Yeah, timed that timed that really well too. Um, right through Sigildorf, the invincibility going right through like uh, or Sigildorf's hitbox going right through the invincibility. Yeah. But this is uh, gonna be tough. Big body at the ledge, right? Yeah. We're talking bacon. about that with the uh, the bacon. Uh huh. We see him throwing out the bacon now. Okay. So Pinnery try to air dodge through the dash attack caught him. That flare blitz gonna save him. Tipper forward till. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, Snigeldorf threw out the bucket right there. Man, the, and it's then the it put him enough leg where he was not able to recover. It's the fear of Charizard, dude. This this character takes up so much of the stage. His yeah. dash is so fast. <laughs> yeah. Does he, does he have a kill throw? No. I know there's been a lot of uh, opinions on Charizard, so I want to hear your opinion on Charizard. I yeah, think he's uh, underrated and good, but he's not like great. Um, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't think Charizard's great, but he has, like, forward air is still really good. Uh, uh -huh. Back air is strong as ever, and Flare Blitz is good. Like, yeah. he, I think he serves his purpose. Okay. Um, so you don't, you're not of the opinion that he's the quote-unquote worst in the game? No. <laughs> because he's, like, he's not a solo character. Yeah, oh, is yeah, he dead? Yeah, yeah he's dead. Um... Like, none of none of them are like Ivy is the closest, and like by himself, he's like what, low high tier or something like that. Yeah, in in that range. Yeah, I uh, I played Mechon the other day. Who's no offense to Mechon, he's not Pandarian. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but like, if you can kind of sit on the ledge and uh, kind of ledge, I don't have to deal Ooh. with uh, Razor Leafs as Mega Man because uh -huh. you just like out camp it. Out, like out spam it. Yeah. Um, but if you can correctly defend against Razor Leaf at the ledge, like what? I, I don't know how he really opens you up. He has to dash grab, yeah. or come in with this like really slow falling forward air. Um, and that's kind of how I feel. And if you get hit by the things that don't kill you, there isn't a whole lot of threat. Like down tilt's just gonna send you away. That kind of thing. Yeah. And so that's 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 my opinion on Ivysaur. Is I think he's. Annoying and okay, but like. But what we're seeing from Pandaria right now is he's good enough to win some of these neutral exchanges. Ooh, that back air. Almost. Not gonna quite finish it. This is actually a pretty close game three. Yeah. Um, Ooh, also a good move from Charizard is up smash. And he, we're gonna we're gonna try and see it. Ooh, good parry. Ooh, maybe we'll have to see it next game because Snickledorf gonna take game three. It's the berry in the F smash. Um, one thing I was gonna say about Pandarian's Ivysaur is like he's a good enough player to where he just has to win a neutral exchange, and yeah. then all of a sudden he's he's on you with these 
obnoxious hitboxes. Um, but, like, you might see him lose a couple neutral exchanges, but he does a pretty good job of, of getting himself out of disadvantage quickly, I would say. Yeah. And as like as a player, you, you might not have as many tools as someone else with a character, but if you're neutral as a player is good, you yeah. can make things work, you can... Uh, pun just with your spacing, like mm -hmm. maybe not even your moves, like open someone up, get them to overextend, that kind of thing. I can kind of see like why he would go from being a Meta Knight player to a Pokemon trainer. It's the, it's the it. advantage state, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so these guys are, I think it, they're cracking up so much, <laughs> so freaking wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yoshi's story, close quarters. Oh. Gonna, uh... Yeah, I want to. I want to see what this is all about from a Pandarian standpoint. Um, I don't. I'm not gonna pretend to know why he went here, honestly. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, that, that's probably why. Yep. It's, uh, he's got the up airs onto the platforms. Yeah, his full hop. His full hop landed him almost perfectly on the platform. He had hardly any time to go back down onto it, you know? And then he's able to get right back up in the air. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that was ambitious of Snickledorf. He uh, used the up B to get out of the trouble, but then tried to uh, come back with an aerial. Yeah. Pandaren had him ready. And it, I would say, like, a lot of times, that if you find Snickledorf getting himself into trouble, that is one of the one of the main ways that sometimes he will. He's he's aggressive. <laughs> um, but sometimes it gets him into trouble. Ooh, he air dodges up back up to the ledge. But yeah, just like landing with key, yeah, and, and things like that. Ooh, oh my gosh, Pandaria, that was so smart. <laughs> spot dodge, spot dodge. Spot They're dodge both down laughing. smash. The Falco main here <laughs> showing his true colors. <laughs> yeah, these giant hitboxes from Ivysaur. Pandaria's having a blast. Yeah. <laughs> you see the Charizard coming out in that cross up back air. Of course, you have to watch out for that when Charizard's out there. Yep. Like, that is. Is that his best move? Some people, so I had this discussion with my friend who plays Pokemon Trainer, and like, honestly, oh, oh no, he my got hit gosh. by the pop the off. Throw in the flare blitz killed him. It. I don't know what he started at, but he was only at 55 after the flare blitz. And uh, Pandarian cannot believe he got that. <laughs> Sniggledorf also shame. cannot believe he got yeah. that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's just gonna DQ himself and take that third place. Uh, <laughs> so Snickledorf gonna move into losers finals. Pandarian in grands. And so is, Char is Charizard 